Hello and welcome to Out of My Mind. Today on Out of My Mind, we're going to be talking about what is agoraphobia. Okay, so there are a lot of misconceptions about what agoraphobia is, and that's understandable. It's a weird condition that can manifest in a lot of different ways. Some people think that agoraphobia is the fear of crowds. Other people think that it is the fear of tight spaces, kind of a claustrophobia thing, or even that agoraphobia is the fear of being unable to escape. But the actual definition of agoraphobia, um, a condition which I am afflicted with, uh, is the fear of having a panic attack. Uh, so it is essentially the old, uh, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Uh, we are fearing that we will have fears in the future. Um, if you've had agoraphobia or you're familiar with panic attacks, uh, if you've never had a panic attack, basically what it feels like is uh, an overwhelming sense of dread um, and you will have symptoms like a rapid heartbeat, sweating, shaking, nausea, um, numbness, chest pain, um, and a host of other problems. Uh, they can last 30 seconds, they can last a few hours, um, they are miserable. You might be thinking that you're having a heart attack, you might be thinking you're dying, they're incredibly unpleasant. Um, and while there's medicine that you can take, it's usually slow acting and you need to uh, kind of ride out the panic attack. There are techniques that we'll talk about that can make it easier to get through this, but you really just have to ride it out. A lot of different things can spark a panic attack. Uh, I have certain panic triggers, worrying about money or loneliness or illness or sorrow or mourning. I've had panic attacks because I was in a high stress situation at work uh, where I was dealing with a difficult coworker or a difficult boss. Uh, I've had panic attacks because of looming deadlines for my books. I've had panic attacks uh, for a lot of smaller, stupid reasons. Anyway, the classic example for me is church. Uh, I have a lot of trouble with big crowds, and so I worry about going to church because at church I'm going to have a panic attack that is going to make me want to leave church and go home. Um, and so every Saturday night I get a panic attack about the fact that I will get a panic attack at church. And if we go deeper down the rabbit hole, I've started to every Friday night get worried about what's going to happen Saturday night, which is worrying about what's going to happen Sunday morning. So what can you do about this? The good news is that there are a lot of coping techniques. Breathing exercises is a big one. I've done an episode on that before. I'll do an episode on that again. Um, cognitive behavioral therapy, which is an episode all in itself, uh, but that is a way of you working with a therapist to work through and think your way through uh, your uh, panic attacks. And it's also good for uh, every other condition, depression, schizophrenia, OCD, all of these things can be helped by cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, exercise can also help. Um, my wife, who doesn't have panic disorder, but she does have generalized anxiety disorder, she follows advice given to her by her mom, which is when you're worried, uh, go for a walk and have a popsicle. And she will do that and uh, makes her ride as rain most of the time. I don't mean to minimize the ongoing problems of any of these. Even as I was writing the script for this episode, I was going through coping techniques online and I was thinking, yeah, that doesn't work. And I've tried that and that failed. But on the other hand, I am far better at controlling panic attacks now than I was five years ago. So what's the good news? The good news is that panic attacks are something can, that can be completely cured. Um, unlike some mental illnesses that you will always have with you, panic attacks can be made to go completely away. Um, a lot of that is patience. It's not going to go away in a year. It's probably not going to go away in five years. You will start getting what they call limited symptom attacks, which are you might have a uh, chest pain, but you won't have rapid breathing. Or you might have nausea, but you don't have vertigo. 
things start to get better, you start to have fewer symptoms, and eventually it can go away entirely. I will do an episode where we talk about more coping mechanisms, and we talk about more ways to uh, handle panic, but uh, that is what agoraphobia is. It is the fear of having a panic attack in the future, fear of putting yourself in a situation where you could get a panic attack. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you like what you hear, please subscribe and uh, give us a like. Thank you.